And finally for you, it's a battle for the bees on Long Island. Most honeybee colonies in New York State are now infested with a new plague of parasitic mites. And it's threatening our fragile food supply. CV 1055's Jennifer McLogan explains from Old Bethpage. Across the country and New York State, bee colonies continue to be under attack. The Varroa mite may be responsible for $500 million in local agricultural losses this year. One third of our world's food supply is dependent on bees. I'm not just talking about strawberries and peaches and apples. I'm talking zucchini, tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, winter We need squash. our bees. We need the bees. The restoration farm in Old Bethpage is home to three of Long Island's 100 bee colonies that fan out to produce honey and pollinate crops. This summer, Cornell University research scientist teams are searching for a cure to the massive die-off. We spoke to the leader in Ithaca via FaceTime. The Varroa mite is a parasite that's kind of similar to a tick, and it actually latches onto honeybees, and it sucks the blood and feeds on the fat stores of honeybees. Ninety percent of New York's honeybee colonies surveyed are already infested. The Long Island Beekeepers Club names disease, loss of habitat, and pesticides as possible causes. Long Island homeowners deciding I'm not going to spray because that could be playing a big role in diminishing their immune system so that when the varroa mite comes in, they're already operating, you know, with one hand tied behind their back. But we're actually working with these beekeepers to figure out what solutions we can come up with. There is no magic bullet. Infestation is so common that for now beekeepers are just focusing on keeping parasitic mites manageable while scientists develop a cure. From Old Beth Page, Jennifer McLogan, TV 1055. And the experts tell us that when one bee colony gets sick and dies, other nearby colonies are attacking to steal their honey, which is causing the mites to spread even further. Well, that's our show. We'd like to thank our guests here this morning on Exit 1055 Long Island, Veronica Vanderpool, Jessica, and Cassidy McCarthy. I'm Richard Rose. Please like us on my public Facebook page. You can see it there on your screen below. And, of course, we hope to see you back here same time next Sunday morning. Now here's a look at some of the events of interest that are coming up this week in your community calendar. Thank you for being there.